Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 describes faith as a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. We live in a world where Christians are being mocked. We are holding on to the word of God during the period of trials and temptation looks stupid. We believers are tempted to do something desperate to change our lives and fortune during perilous times. As believers in Christ, this is the period we should hold steady to our faith in God. The government might fail us, the system might fail us, but God will never fail us. Some moments seem bleak and the future looks dark, but God is near us. He is there in the midst of our storm. Just look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. It is important to have faith in God, especially through the trying period of our lives. There are so many examples of people who put their faith in God in the moments of their trials. One of them is Daniel, who put his trust in God when he was thrown in the den of lions. Yet, the lion did not hurt him because God came to his rescue. There would be trials and temptations in the world, but God gave us his assurance that we should not be afraid because he has conquered the world. One thing that contradicts faith in our lives is the fear of the unknown. Until we as believers learn to cast our cares on Jesus, we would be cumbered with the weight of the trials and temptation we are passing through. Our faith in Christ is all we need to cling to during our period of trial. The world we live in is ruled by the devil and his agents. The role of the devil is to kill, steal, and destroy. The moment we profess ourselves to be children of God, the devil himself is always ready to bring a different form of trials and temptation to lead us astray from the will of God. Our human strength is not enough to withstand this. This is why God sent the Holy Ghost to guide and comfort us in times of trials and temptation. There are so many ways our faith in the Lord is tried by the devil. We as believers should always have the leading of the Holy Spirit to always do the will of God. One way we can overcome our trials and temptation is when we pray without ceasing. Prayer is all about bringing God's word back to Him. Hence, we must always pray and seek God's face during our moment of trials. Prayer is also an effective weapon against the enemies of God. When we pray according to God's will, He strengthens our faith in Him. The more our faith is strengthened, the more we have the power to overcome all trials and temptation. His word says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Also, study the word of God and obey His commandments. When we study the word of God, we will be reminded to observe His laws perfectly. The Word of God is also an effective weapon against the devil and his agents. The Word of God is also our guide. When we are going through trials and temptations, it is easy to get distracted. So study God's Word daily, so as not to fall for the tricks of the devil. Since the Word of God is a double-edged sword, the Word of God is also our defense when the enemies attack us. When we are facing trials and temptation, it is an opportunity for God to test our faith. Abraham was tried by God when he was told to sacrifice his son Isaac as a burnt sacrifice to the Lord. But God has assured us that He will always make a way of escape for us during our period of trial and temptation. When God is testing our faith, just as He did with Abraham and Job, God is watching to see what we will do when things are not going well for us. So we should always be steadfast in the will and promise of God. The devil might come in form of friends, colleagues, or even family to frustrate God's purpose for you. It is left to you to stand firm in the will of Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit. When you do this, God will be happy and will always see you through your period of trial. Remember, there is no making of a general without a war. All heroes of faith had to pass through different trials in which they succeeded, and that is why their names are recorded as men and women of faith. 
God cannot give you the bigger assignment when you cannot pass the smaller test. He said we should count it all joy when we pass through trials in James chapter 1 verse 2. When you face trials and temptation, your faith would be stronger. You have that joy that you are passing through a test that will make you stronger and better for the master's use. One way to express your faith in God during the period of trials and temptation is to show love and generosity to everyone. The most difficult time to love someone is when you are passing through a period of trial. But showing love and generosity to others will help you not to face your trials alone, but with people with whom you have shown your love. You must always share that love of Christ in your heart with your friends, neighbors, and colleagues. It would strengthen the faith of Christ in you. It is important to put your faith totally in God even when there are no trials. It has become a norm that we turn to God when things are not going well. However, we must give our all to Him during the good and bad times. There cannot be two captains in a ship. When God directs your life, He would see you through the storm and siege of the world. So learn to trust and have faith in God in all circumstances of your life. Faith in God means you should have a cordial relationship with God. During your times of trials, God never leaves nor forsakes you. Rather, God is fighting your unseen battles. If God can only show you how He saves, protect, and provide for your daily needs, you would be more than thankful to Him. Having faith in God means acknowledging the great name of God. God dwells in the praises of His people. So during the good and bad times, one way of showing that you are faithful is by always giving Him the glory for things He has done and for what He will still do in your life. The devil is a master of deception. He tries to give us a shortcut to end our trials, but whatever the devil grants to us is always temporary. There is no shortcut to greatness in God. You have to build a steady relationship with God. Then God will prove Himself in your life. God is always waiting to see that you obey His commandment. He is willing to bless you beyond your imagination. But before God can do that, He wants you to totally put your trust in Him, and then He will direct your path. So do not be swayed by the deception of the devil. The Bible tells us to resist the devil and he will flee from us. The devil will bring so many distractions, so stand firm and lean on God. For us to have faith in God during our times of trials, we also require wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in dealing with the world. So lean not on our own understanding, rather ask for divine wisdom. The wisdom of God is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will guide, lead, and teach you. This will make you stronger and stand firm on God's word. Faith in God cometh by hearing the word of God. So let us stand firm on His word and He will see us through all trials and tribulation we are passing through.